I checked and rechecked my calculations. He had lost our main compass and I was using a spare which had not been corrected for magnetic variation. I made an allowance for this and another estimate of the influence of westerly currents which flow through this part of Indian Ocean. About two, I went on deck and asked Larry to steer a course of 185 degrees. If I, if we were lucky, I told him with a conviction I didn't feel he could expect to see the island at about 5 p.m. Then with a heavy heart, I went below, climbed on my bunk and amazingly tossed off. When I woke, it was 6 p.m. and growing dark. I knew we must have missed the island and with the sail we had left, we couldn't hope to beat back into westerly winds. At the moment, a tousled head appeared by my bunk. Can I have a hug? Jonathan asked. Sue was right behind him. So, so. The narrator was rechecking his calculations he lost main compass so he used spare one which was not corrected so he estimated the influence of currents around two he went on deck and asked larry to steer the wheel to 185 degrees he felt if they were lucky they would see the island by five कि अगर वो लकी हुए तो फाइव के नियर वो वहाँ आइलैंड में पहुँच जाएंगे। Then he went below and slept. He woke up around six and it was dark outside. So उन्होंने सोचा कि वो क्या है वो अपनी जो आइलैंड है में भी मिस कर चुके हैं। So he started worrying. They would tackle how they would tackle the westerly wind. Suddenly his son came and asked him for a hug and again and next his daughter who also came to her father. Next is why I am getting a hug now I asked because you are the best daddy in the world and the best captain. My son replied, Not today. John, I am afraid. Why you must be? Said Sue in matter of fact voice. You found the island. What I shouted. It's out there in front of us. They chorused. As big as a battleship. I rushed on the duck and gazed with relief at the stark outline of Amsterdam. It was only a bleak piece of volcanic rock with little vegetation the most beautiful island in the world now so his son asked that he was the best daddy in the world and also captain he called him best captain the narrator replied that he was afraid but sue told him that they had found the island which was big as battleship. So, narrator rushed to the duck and gave a sigh of relief. They could see the complete outline of Amsterdam. Now they had reached the island. There was a bleak piece of volcanic rock in front of them. It had a little vegetation. It was the most beautiful island in the world. We anchored offshore for a night and the next morning all 28 inhabitants of the island cheered as they helped us ashore. With land under my feet again my thoughts were full of Larry and Herbie and cheerful and optimistic under the dire stress and of Mary who stayed at the wheel for all those crucial hours. Most of us I thought of seven year old girl who didn't want us to worry about the head injury which subsequently took six minor operations to remove a recurring blood clot between skin and skull and 
of six year old baby who was not afraid to die now at last they found the island now when they reached 28 inhabitants of amsterdam island helped them to move on the shore of the island as he felt the land again on his feet he thought of his crewmen his wife and wants to thank him for their cooperation and he also thought of his seven year old daughter who was injured badly she had to go through six minor operations after that and his son who never gave up and was not afraid to die so this is all about the chapter i hope you understand this chapter well thanks